Welcome to part 8 of Integration by Use Substitution. This is a list of formulas that we're using. And this is the list of examples that we'll be going through. Each part number corresponds to the example number. So in this part, we're looking at example 8. Can we see which formula it is? It's obvious the only candidates are the top two formulas. Since we're dealing with a fraction, we might as well try the natural log, right? In the natural log formula, we have the integral of du over u. So let us let u be the denominator, x cubed plus 3x minus 7. What's du? du is the derivative times dx. We get 3x squared plus 3 times dx. From there, a 3 factors out, and we get 3 times x squared plus 1 dx. Now, these problems are rigged up so you could do them. If it weren't that way, we just can't use u substitution to solve the integral. So let's go ahead and substitute the u's in now. We get the integral of 1 over u and the leftover part, the numerator, x squared plus 1 dx, what's that? It is exactly one-third of du. So let's put that in. Constant factors can be factored out of integrals. So we get one-third times the integral of du over u, and there's our formula. We get one-third log of absolute u plus c. Substitute the x's back in, and we're done. Let's check our answer by differentiating. If we get the constant factor one-third times the derivative of the log part. Differentiate log of anything, you get one over that thing times the derivative of that thing. Copy everything in front. We get 3x squared plus 3. From that, the 3 factors out. The 3's cancel. And there's our integrand. Now let's try the problem without writing in any u's. It will be a lot shorter. Okay, let's look at our integral. We're going to try the integral of du over u. Let's write it in that form. The integral of x cubed plus 3x minus 7 on the bottom, that's our u. And now in the oval, we must put du exactly. If u is x cubed plus 3x minus 7, du is 3x squared plus 3 times dx. Now look at the two sides, they're no longer equal. What do we do? All we have to do is put one-third in front of the integral. Now we have one-third times the integral of du over u, which is one-third log of absolute u plus c. See how short that was? Pretty neat, right? See you next time. Bye.